<laughs> yeah, I know. It's uh, the um, internet connection. Yeah, I mean, uh, especially if you're doing for it for the first time. <laughs> exactly. How are you? I'm good. I'm super happy to be here. So it will take some time for me to... Okay, now, yeah. <laughs> now I have the necklace. And my That's sound. great. Can, uh, can you see, can uh, you turn the camera better so that uh, the people yeah. can see it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hello, Malika. So. <laughs> okay. So, um, shall we, what shall we do? Shall we uh, start? Shall we wait a minute or so? Yeah. Or, I mean... uh, where are you at the moment? Are you at the, in your studio? At I'm home? at my home studio. So I'm, okay. I'm having studios everywhere I go. <laughs> Just I in know, case. I know. <laughs> Just well, in you case. Have, you, you, have inspiration the, comes. you have Sorry. a studio at home, you have the studio in, uh, in Kensington, and you have the atelier in Belgravia. <laughs> yes, I have it. I, uh, literally, everywhere I go, I have my studios just in case the inspiration <laughs> struck and I have to work. So I have everything in hand. Good. So um, let's uh, let's start. So we are we are having a, a really relaxed uh, conversation today, and uh, mainly because yesterday we launched uh, the uh, Totem Necklace Hero, uh, and which you're going later to talk about because uh, it's important that you tell us you know the the, the symbolism behind this beautiful piece. Mm -hmm. Um, but in, before that, I would like to give a little introduction of, um, of you uh, to the people who are joining us today, and, um, and that's it. So, uh, Aigana, uh, Aigana Gali, she's an artist from uh, Kazakhstan, based in London. She uh, explores the universal human uh, uh, themes through elaborate concepts of duality, such as the physical world, uh, the spiritual beliefs, um, reality and imagination, human construction and nature, and uh, being and nothingness. Uh, you are a multimedia artist working with acrylic, painting, um, so oil, um, um, photography, and uh, textiles. Uh, uh, recently, you uh, have launched this uh, amazing uh, brand called uh, Manifestations Art Couture, where you um, paint um, uh, mythological creatures uh, on uh, textiles. And um, the one that I love the most are the coats, um, but they are also um, um, you paint also on um, textiles for homeware, and uh, and these you can you can actually see in the Instagram um, Aidana's Instagram called uh, Manifestations Art Couture, where you can have a better understanding of what she does apart from being a painter. Um, in 2014, you have been um, uh, recognized as one of the brightest uh, talents of Kazaka art. Um, uh, you've been exhibiting your artworks in Europe, uh, in Russia and Kazakhstan, and in uh, London you've been exhibited uh, your works at the Sachi Gallery, I think, two years ago. And um, that's it, that's a brief introduction of you. And um, the totem necklace is, uh, I'm very thrilled to have it here at the gallery. And seeing it there, it's the, your first verbal art piece uh, made in metal because you do couture verbal art. And it's made of um, uh, hand sculpted uh, bronze gold plated. And uh, it's a um, contemporary reimagination of uh, a traditional Kazakhstan chest uh, necklace, which uh, um, in the ancient times uh, were worn by the warriors of the Central Asian steppes. And this necklace was called uh, Ornitsiak, something like that. <laughs> Ornitsiak. <It's> very close. <laughs> Ornitsiak. <laughs> 
How do you how do you pronounce it? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so these warriors were were wearing uh, the Ornishiak necklace to protect themselves. Here you go. Oh my god. Fantastic. Yeah. This this one uh, this one is I have a small collection of this old um Central Asian uh necklaces and uh this one is one of the one of my favorite and it's actually you will see I'll, when I start talking about the necklace, you will see the size and the structure. It's uh, coming from this exact necklace. And that, no, well, you can start because I'm finished. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for this great introduction. Yes, I, um, I mean, um, creating creating art objects for me. It's a it's a daily daily routine. It's a daily work. Since I remember myself, I was always um, painting or drawing or or creating something with textile and uh, uh, so and then this kind of um, so for me it was always like not it, it wasn't ever a question who I want to be. I always. Uh, was expressing first I was expressing my my own ideas myself through art and then uh, later I kind of um, through a lot of work I realized that I'm not expressing any any personal ideas anymore and it's more about a uh, universal universal body of uh, uh, both kind of spiritual and philosophical uh, conversation uh, so and then I've started my brand as you as you just said manifestations and again I'm very connected to my roots I'm very connected to Central Asia and I'm I'm my mom is Georgian and my my dad is Kazakh so it's a mixture of two uh, two different mentalities two different and cultures cultures. but in a way uh, in a way it's it's very kind of it's very similar and it's very different in the, at the same time. Uh, but I think both they kind of descend from a similar root of uh, uh, Central Asian tri tribes. So yes, coming back to the necklace, as you said, uh, it's based on the traditional Kazakh necklace called Onirzhiyek. And we have the whole, um, the whole array of uh, uh, jewelry uh, and jewelry is very important for us and what is interesting that ancient nomads are virtually in, invisible in uh, archaeological record because they mm -hmm. left very little uh, trace uh, and uh, kind of we it's difficult to say what the lifestyle was and we normally would describe by settled nations, settled kind of uh, settled mentality, and uh, and I think in this way for me it is very important to represent this culture here of in course. London or, uh, for for Europe because it's kind of it's unknown, it's mostly unknown, and the only the only things we have. Um, visible uh, from the archaeological point of view they they were jewelry mostly jewelry because textile is not strong enough to go through time and mm -hmm. uh, so jewelry and then another very interesting and beautiful uh, beautiful thing which you can see throughout the Central Asian steps I, actually I prepared some some pictures to show so they are incredible statues the totem the totem sculptures the totem, to, the totem sculptures and they called bal bal and one second i'll find it this this is this is it yeah they're like that oh wow so um and and it's still uh, a big question what they are so it's like it's a, it's absolutely mysterious uh, how you you kind of you go through steps or you go through mountains and then in some valleys you see this uh, incredible statues and they're believed to be they called balbal and uh, the name comes from a uh, from 
from the Turk, uh, Turk, Turk language, it means uh, Baba, which is grandfather. So we believe that they, these stones were put there in the steps to kind of to remember them, that souls of our ancestors are looking after us. It's very beautiful. Uh, it, it is very beautiful and it's, uh, in a way, it's, it's a lot of symbolism, the way they are simplified, they are kind of, they don't have gender, no female, no male. Yes. Very simplified. Well, like, uh, like, like your hero uh, necklace on yes. the back. So this is where I want to take you to. So uh, when, when I was thinking about the jewelry piece, by the way, I wanted to come back to the point where we started with Elisabetta. So Elisabetta came to my exhibition and she saw a coat. She went through all the exhibitions and uh, she <laughs> saw a coat, a particular one, which called an art, uh, a hero. Uh, the, the, the design, it's, I'm, I'm having, I have this coat, it's here. But it's not the same, Elisabetta, because the, the one no, no, uh, you saw <laughs> is another one. one. It's another one, but with the same design. So when Elisabetta saw this ne uh, coat, she said, you should, 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 you should just turn it into a necklace. <laughs> and just like that, she pushed me into uh, another interesting uh, kind of aspect chapter, of the work. Yeah, chapter of my uh, work. And I've started drawing and painting like crazy, uh, working towards the, the piece to be done. And uh, when was it, Elizabeth? It was exactly a year ago, right? One year ago, yes. It was uh, yeah. really the first lockdown, and um, and um, it was nice to you know connect uh, through art in a yes. not not in a in a good moment, you know. And uh, so we lift our spirits uh, by being creative yeah. and uh, do something great for now, uh, and um, mm. something that will bring us. Uh, mm, I don't know, positivity and hope as well, no? Absolutely. I think it was a very useful, useful uh, time for all of us uh, to kind of, to go inside, to go internal and yes. think about things we need and things we don't. Um, it's a, it was a very interesting journey, but anyway, so it, it happened right before, like a few months before the lockdown. Yes. Right? So I started drawing, within the lockdown. So I would say the necklace is a lockdown baby. <laughs> yeah, the precious it's baby. Really, yeah. do, you wanna, do you want to uh, tell us about the, uh, so because the uh, necklace is arranged vertically, like a, as you said, like um, yeah. a totem uh, column. Uh, and it's, yeah. uh, it's made in five sections. You can either wear it long or you can detach the um, yeah. the part where there is the hero face and you make it shorter. I have, I but, have, a, I have uh, the second one is here. I have one, and, one more here in the box. Yes, and each, each of these elements uh, have a particular symbolism behind. Would you like to tell us uh, about it? Yeah. Do you, do you want me to show you how it gets uh, on? All right. You better know this, Elisabetta. I'll not do it again. <laughs> uh, okay. So you kind of, you get separated. You can have just the face of a yeah. hero with you. So, yeah. yeah, you see the, when when you get two of these necklaces close to each other. Oh, let me take it like that. So you see how they are very similar in terms of Arrange. size and position. Although, yes. although you kind of, they're completely different. They're completely different kind of aesthetic language and uh, forms and uh, forms are quite different here. But what 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 is important? So the so every every uh, symbol means something, and all together it's a protective uh, protective uh, piece of uh, jewelry. Mm -hmm. uh, so what. If to start from the top, we start from the top and you see this um, little bird here uh, with a um, tree branch in the beak. And what it means, so that kind of I took this symbol 
in general, I wanted to tell the story of uh, touch, kind of to reference all different heroes throughout the cultures and uh, stories. So I've, I've been a true nomad uh, in the sense that I traveled the world with this ne necklace. I kind of, uh, I, I had no borders in uh, traveling from one story to another. And the bird comes from uh, Noah the story of yes. Noah and the bird and uh, I, I looked through many paintings and uh, I have some here so this one this is a beautiful yes. one so I took this bird quite directly so I kind of uh, first of and what all, does it uh, what does it represent to you the bird with a with a twig on its beak yeah so the bird is sacred in many cultures same as in Kazakh culture it's uh, the bird is something it's uh, the only living being which can connect sky and earth yes and uh, we believe that the bird can take a message to, to heavens, to Tengri, and uh, uh, she can bring it back to earth, to human beings. So it's kind of a, a messenger and an ambassador of earthly life to the sky. And so, but, but, um, so it has like different aspects to how I, um, how, what, what is the symbol in this particular design for me. But for me, it's uh, mostly it's um, about uh, sending this kind of the ideas out of your mind and it's going to come back to you with the good news of uh of the creative object so this so it's is a messenger it's your messenger it's a messenger <laughs> yeah it's a messenger of your of your dreams of your will of your uh spirituality it's a prayer at the same time and then uh the second symbol the um, uh this uh, the, the snake, snake the snake and it's uh, again it's a very important symbol for me personally and uh, not only for is, me the snake is curled uh, is curled on the sun yes it's curled in the sun and with this one i'm kind of sending you back to god ra egyptian god ra uh, which is uh, the most important uh, egyptian god and uh, it's a it's a sun god so it's kind of it's this from one one aspect of the symbol is this and the the other aspect is that uh, uh, snake represents the um, kind of the ego structure mm -hmm. which uh, which you need to kind of overcome to be to 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 get to this level of um, universal kind of field so this is what I'm saying, sending, sending, send your dreams. They're going to come back to you with the good, good news. And then you kind of, you overcome the construct, construction of your um, ego. And then kind of, uh, we go down to the face of the hero. And, and the face of the hero, like the uh, uh, sculptures that you show us before, has no, uh, yeah. it's There's not a no woman gender. or a man no ego no gender no personality in a way mm -hmm. and uh his, his face is very kind of formal and transfixed and then uh the the only open kind of directly directly to you the the thing is uh the third eye which uh connecting you with intuition and uh um high, high kind of high, high powers and then we move uh, to the body of the hero and it has these beautiful wings, kind of, uh, it's me saying that be brave, be always be prepared. Be brave, fly to, high with your dreams. Fly uh, high, yes, never, fly high, never kind of, uh, be always ready to, for the heroic deed, this is what I'm saying. And Good. then there's branches, there's branches of the, um, of the of coming out, like shooting out from the body. Uh, here I'm saying, uh, shoot new beginnings. Always kind of, always rethink, always uh, don't stop on anything. Rethink any dogma, any philosophy, kind of the moment you accept one, I think it's just kind of, um, 
it's a stop in your spiritual development. So always rethink, always uh, inquire for new things. And then uh, the whole structure of the totem is uh, based standing on the fish. And the fish is again having few different aspects uh, for me. So one, one of them is I'm um, kind of referencing towards Jesus Christ uh, and a fish was a symbol of um, uh, Jesus uh, and here I'm kind of referring towards the story of uh, multiplying the fish and loaves and uh, uh, feeding of 5,000 and then uh, another aspect of the fish is I'm saying that never forget that the reality is slippery it's kind of again it's 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 difficult to un attain one truth it it can slip away any time from you mm -hmm. so don't make resolutions <laughs> yeah and the size uh, again coming back to the size yes you can see it's quite a big necklace so it kind of covers it's a powerful it's a it's a powerful necklace it, it is protects a powerful you necklace. Uh? First, it protects you, but second, you kind of you never go unnoticed. So you kind of you invite people to talk to you. You invite people coming into your life of to course. conversation. But at the same time, your sacred chakra, your breast, the, the, your it's protected. It's protected and guarded by this um, hero. The hero oh. is uh, is the hero. Then becomes. Uh the person who wears it no absolutely absolutely so you kind so of we... tune yourself onto this message when you own the something like that you kind of you constantly reminded of all these symbols yeah and again as i said um i didn't want i didn't want to uh, portray any personal story in this necklace so of course. that's why i kind because... of referenced a lot of uh, different myths because it's you, the, the wearer is going to put the, its own story underneath yes. and, uh, and uh, somehow the totem hero gives support to your dreams and your, your goals and your strengths, Absolutely. no? Absolutely. And it's, um, the hero is kind of archetypal. It's based on any culture. It's, uh, it's a complex, uh, complex creature. So you can you can kind of uh, fill, fill it with your symbols as well. Yeah, exactly. And uh, how do you how do you see uh, wearing this piece? You know, for me, it's quite easy. I'm used to this large pieces of jewelry, and when something small is there, I feel a little bit strange and confused how to apply it on myself. I mean, with anything, it's super easy with the uh, with the cardigan or white shirt like that or jeans. It's it's a it's a very but also I kind of you gave me this image. I think you said once, oh, imagine it's so it's gonna be so beautiful with the summer silk. Yeah, exactly. I can imagine how beautiful is it. So we're gonna see if we travel this year. Uh, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I mean, it's a really, I mean, I, before launching the piece, as I normally do, I um, try it for a week and feel the weight and feel the movement. And I actually was wearing it with everything, with uh, really a t-shirt and a pair of jeans. And once I put it like a, a long dress like this one, but in velvet, and it looked so, so elegant. And, um, and actually people stopped me, asking me where I got it. So, of course. <laughs> <laughs> there's nobody happens to me, but. The, it's quite a it's a flashy piece uh, for sure um, it's a flashy piece yes it definitely same as the coat i mean they invite people into your life it's not mm. it's not something which uh so kind of wearing a coat like that you, you have to be quite brave and you 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 have to be you sh surely you will be asked <laughs> well uh, you need to have meaning. personality yeah. Stop. If you have personality, you can wear everything. Um, Listen, I, I have a book. I forgot to I, I forgot to show it. I, but look, look at this girl. 
and she's, she's wearing out. she's she's wearing she's wearing like the one. the t traditional chest uh, necklaces yeah and they're all different versions of these necklaces and they're absolutely stunning absolutely beautiful and these normally were made in uh which material they were like uh, silver they're, or it was like a um there is no we kind of uh when you it's from from the it's depends locally so western kazakhstan is more kind of polychromatic so we mix uh we mix silver and gold and uh south kazakhstan is mostly silver mm -hmm. and again it's coming we kind of we, we give um meaning to when you wear it so when you cook for example you would wear some big silver rings and bracelets to to clarify the, 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 the kind of the air around you cooking. <laughs> and then uh, depends on the age, again, you kind of, you, you go towards gold more and silver less. So it's, it's a little bit, it's a lot of meaning. It's a mm -hmm. meaningful thing for, um, uh, for nomads. <laughs> So this one is uh, made in uh, bronze. It's a hand sculpted bronze gold plated. Yeah. And uh, it comes with a, a, um, a cord, a silk cord, uh, red, black, or green. You can choose the color. Yeah, you can have all three. Uh, different it's colors of the cord. So the, this one is red, for example. I love red. It stands out yeah. with the gold. Absolutely. As you can see, I love red. <laughs> um, oh, you changed the, the colors of your walls. Yes, the back wall. Yes, I changed Oh my, it's all red now. Yeah, yes. I like to change. <laughs> and it's a limited edition. Uh, there are 20, 25 pieces, correct? 25 pieces. They're signed, signed by, signed by uh, Elisabetta and me. Well, my me, it's only my initial. I always put my initials with my projects. Yeah, it's yeah. really, it's really beautiful. Yeah, see, yeah, and show, show the reverse of the piece so that you can see how you can remove uh, the the back. It's, you can get get closer. Easy. It's quite easy. Oh, good. Well done. You see, so you remove it. It's like that, and then uh, you only have the small kind of uh, face of the hero. It's beautiful. Uh, I love it. By the way, I didn't say anything about this halos. So the the meaning of this halos and the arrows is that you kind of you manifest your you project your energy. <laughs> there is Dina who's uh, from Stories of Art. She commented stunning hero necklace. She loves it. She felt in love. I'm sure she's gonna be the one, the first <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. And it I love makes it. A lot of, uh, it makes a lot of rattle and sound when you move. Well, it's a, the, I like when there is sound because it reminds you that you are wearing something special. Yes, and uh, it's actually, it's interesting. Again, coming back to my culture, it's, um, they were saying that, uh, there is saying that you can kind of, you can, uh, you can tell the, the character of a girl by the sound of her necklace. Oh, wow. The way she moves, if she is uh, fast or if she's slow or if she, oh, she's, uh, she's graceful, so you can kind of say by the sound of her necklace. <laughs> okay, I don't That's know. That's nice. <laughs> so, um, um, so, the yeah. piece, uh, the totem necklace here is available and mm -hmm. um, um, you can uh, try it on here at the gallery in London in Haddon Street or at uh, Ghana's uh, Manifestations Architecture uh, Boutique, which is in Belgravia. And uh, I wanted to also mention that uh, Ayana and I um, uh, and um, uh, Andrea Hamilton and uh, Dina Marchant from Stories of Art were our um, uh, doing an extraordinary exhibition curated by Nico, what's her surname? Nico uh, Koft. Nico Koft. Um, an exhibition at the end of May, on the 21st of May. 
um, at Andrea Hamilton uh, Studio. Um, the exhibition will be called Light Works. So Ayana is going to exhibit uh, um, her paintings and her um, uh, coats. Of course, uh, the totem necklace will be there as well. And Ayana Gali, uh, and sorry, Andrea Hamilton, she's going to uh, exhibit her fo photographs, her landscapes. And uh, me, I'm going to be, um, select, um, bring a selection of verbal art uh, with the theme of uh, geometric poetry, nature, and uh, water. And then uh, we have the intervention of um, stories of art uh, who uh, are going to uh, have the, um, uh, do lectures on the theme of, uh, of, of, of light, of, of color, uh, and making references to the history of art. And um, so this is going to be on the 21st of May at Andrea Hamilton Studio uh, in uh, Belgravia. And we will, we will uh, um, send um, via Instagram uh, uh, more information about it. And um, so you can, you can try the necklace then and see Aigana's paintings then, or you come to the gallery before <laughs> and you try them, try it before to uh, <clears throat> to find your hero, uh, your, your perfect hero. Um, and that's it, I think. No? Or do you want to say something else? Uh, no, you said it beautifully. <laughs> uh, so it's very, it's really exciting, you know, to do... Um, it's an extremely uh, important and uh, very beautiful exhibition, which is... Um, uh, for me, it's a, it's it's very symbolic. It's uh, we we're coming out of lockdown, and for me, it's like a exit, <laughs> you know. And the, the exit is through light. So it's uh, I invite uh, people to kind of to come and exit with us. It's gonna be um, we're gonna book small groups of maybe maximum six people. Yes, exactly, uh, because we need to busy. follow the rules of six. Yes, so we're still to... in, a, in a very within kind of strict uh, rules with the lockdown. Yeah. But uh, I think it will be a beautiful, uh, beautiful comeback to the world of people <laughs> through through these paintings. And uh, it's something completely new. I've never did it before. It's a new technique for me. It's a new, new theme. Uh, in a yeah, way, you've been, uh, you've been painting a lot lately for this exhibition. I've been, uh, yes, I've, I'm painting non-stop. Uh, and how long and, uh, does it take you to do, because you've changed the technique, and uh, how long does it take you to finish one painting, for example? It's really difficult to say, but I would say a uh, couple of weeks for one painting. <laughs> mm -hmm. But to get if ready you're lucky. for this project. Uh, sorry? If you're lucky. What? If you're lucky, you're going to. You, if you're lucky, you're going to finish. If you're lucky, completely. exactly, because you cannot really, you cannot, um, you cannot plan this uh, process. It's very difficult. And as you rightly mentioned, that I've changed the technique, but it's not like that. I'm kind of I'm working in uh, different um, collections, and so when I get an idea. The, this idea normally comes with a technique which uh, the kind of reflect the idea the best. Mm -hmm. So uh, different things you you say with different kind of you, different songs you sing and the different music. So it's the same with this works and uh, uh, the the collection of step paintings. The, it's completely different. It's a very kind of it's very relaxing it's very spontaneous i i work in uh in a complete kind of dance like ritual where he you always, like you always work. dance when you paint i always it's dance beautiful. yes it's it's kind of it's my second um second uh way of <laughs> um but you you were a things. dancer right i did ballet and, ballet yes um, Yes, but it kind of uh, now it's not a ballet dance at all. Uh, it's more of a kind of ritual. I wouldn't I wouldn't dance for people this way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the exhibition is going to be I, I'm it's going to be very special because of um, of your new works of art, of your paintings, and also 
yeah. Andra Hamilton's photographs of uh, uh, of seascapes, of seascapes. Mm -hmm. seascapes. and changing yeah. changing color um, different times, uh, um, different hours of the day. They are they are spectacular. They are absolutely, they are absolutely stunning, and the way when they are combined together with paintings, it it gives a complete kind of uh, complete complete picture. And um, we always wanted to have an exhibition with Andrea, and we have a lot of a, a lot in common. It, it's a lot. It's it's beyond words how you kind of communicate through art and her being from a completely different uh, cultural background and me yeah. from Kazakhstan, we kind of, we met at the same point. Uh, I was looking at the step endlessly and she was same thing, staring at the, at the sea, uh, transfixed with this beauty, you know? And now we kind of, it's gonna be a very interesting uh, exhibition to see this new collection with seascapes uh, it, it's going to be very fresh as well because I'm painting on on like I'm painting now. It's still kind of I'm still in this process of giving birth to this collection, <laughs> so it's going to be very fresh <laughs> and emotional. Good. So we are so we are good to send uh, more information about the exhibition next week. Or yeah, about our exhibition. <laughs> And uh, and, and yes, of course you can uh, you can come and see it. You just you just have to book uh, your slot, and uh, and then we we'll, we all see you. We will all see you there. Yeah. Are there any questions for Ayana? Because I think we're done. It's five forty-one. We've been talking yeah. for 40, 40 minutes. Wow, we were we were talking for forty minutes. That's impressive. <laughs> Just having That's a look. That's impressive that people something. are still there. <laughs> <laughs> well, why not? You know, Elizabeth, I have to say this is my first ever live. And I was quite always nervous. The first time. It, uh, I was really nervous because it was just, for me, it's the first time live. And, and then I kind of... I lost touch with people in a way and so I'm a little bit of a like in my shell now so it's a, it was a bit of a stress today for me to get ready for this life <laughs> but it it's been beautiful. amazing it's been beautiful. exactly so uh, we have no questions I think uh, you said enough and uh, and uh, I've uh, I loved uh, hearing about your about you and uh, the symbolism behind the hero necklace. And thank you very much, Aigana, thank you for Elizabeth. being here this afternoon. And um, we'll keep you posted. Follow us on Instagram and come to the gallery. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you at the exhibition in at the end of May in London. Um, and just. Uh, Continue to be positive. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye, Elisabetta. Bye.